Well, for a group of women in Milton, the season of giving is all year. Their goal is to comfort the homeless, transforming the most basic material, plastic bags, into something helpful and beautiful. In the last minute, Tiffany Chan shows us an act of charity that's also strengthening the bonds of friendship. These women are on a mission. Fold them once, fold them twice, cut both edges off. They're folding, cutting, and weaving these mats by hand using recyclable grocery bags, all to help the homeless who have no choice but to sleep outdoors. The mat protects you from the dampness of the ground. Then you put your um, blanket or something on top of it, and you can sleep on it. About a dozen women from Winter Valley Senior Living in Milton have been meeting once a week for the past year. It ends up being social, too. You know, we get to know each other. Judy O'Brien says she got the idea from Facebook and convinced her neighbors to join the cause. Neither of us could crochet. So we hustled down to Edith. That's Edith over there. Who can crochet and said to Edith, can we do this? A single mat will cost you 700 grocery bags and countless hours of work. Well, we do this year round. I mean, it's something we can do and we're able to do and it feels good to do it. And there's going to always be homeless people. The women have made about 15 mats that will be delivered to the Pine Street Inn in Boston. 15 homeless people who will sleep a little more comfortably this winter. They can lay on this and have a blanket over them, which, you know, it's a lot more than they had before. In Milton, I'm Tiffany Chan for WBZ News. Wow. I love it. And the fact that it's something that will be okay in the elements. You know what I mean? That plastic will stand up to just about anything. Those mats, they're so detailed and intricate. It's unbelievable the work they pour into those. And they're beautiful. Yes, they Bravo hours. to them. Hours and hours. A lot of work. I imagine. Pretty cool. Well,